So you guys in the comments let me know that we definitely are going to need more than just two lines for creating the redstone, right? And I know it seems like we're spending a lot of time on this machine, but this machine really is chapter two, right? It is going to encompass literally everything here. Everything here. The only thing it doesn't encompass is this little side project here, but I definitely want to get this set up. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. Uh, so... We, in this episode, are going to be taking it down, um, again, and rebuilding it and changing around our tactics, uh, to have more lines of control and a little bit better control over what happens to the cobblestone we generate. Also, cursed using, uh, scaffolding blocks, it, or using, what is this, crushing wheels as scaffolding blocks? Excellently cursed. Even this part is going to go because I was reminded that the volatile sky solution is used for more than just this chapter. You can use it for automating quartz and certus quartz. So I was told that these guys should filter into a tank. And I'm thinking both of them just go into one big, large tank in the center here, and we store an absolute ton of the stuff. And it shouldn't be too bad, because these should, I believe at least, they create a large amount at once, right? Yeah, you create 500 millibuckets at a time from one Skystone dust. So a stack of this is like 32 buckets. Um, so this will produce way more than we could ever use. That being said, we also would need a lot of fluid tanks to store that much. We have a lot of fluid tanks. That's good. So even this is 72 buckets, which won't cover us forever, but we can get up to a nice 216 buckets to start with. And yeah, this acts as a pretty good start, although I would want it to be one forward so it's centered with the basins. Because, look, being centered is more important than anything else in Create. It also lets us more easily use a filtered uh, pipe. I did forget that we needed those. And yeah, that is very important. <laughs> I definitely think the initial idea I had with each loop being controlled by item vaults was a good plan. And we have 16 item vaults, which can give us up to eight loops. I think six should be fine for our purposes. I think six should be fine for our purposes. I'm also curious if it would be possible, like would it work to do something like this, where, or rather, no, not like that. Something I have to wonder is, would it work to have the funnels on either side of it? Right? Like, is that insane? Would that not work at all? I feel like it would. I guess there's no guarantee as to- Oh wait, no, there is a- there is a guarantee. Because I'll be using the andesite as output, and they can only do one at a time. So this should work. This absolutely should work, right? And then yeah, we could power these guys with the cog- or with a shaft in between. And then, uh, two more of these modules and we're golden. I gotta say, I think this is really coming together. I think this is really looking good. Now, of course, there's a chance it totally doesn't work, but at the very least, the aesthetics, that's what's coming together. I do also need to make many more filters. Well, four more filters. It's not that many. Another question we need to answer is how is the rose quartz ending up on these assembly lines? Actually, that's an excellent question. Uh, how is the rose quartz ending up on these assembly lines? Perhaps I have been too hasty. I do have an idea, but it does require these things to move forward, like one or two blocks. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> that's what I get for starting to just throw blocks down. I think two blocks should do it. Now, this is kind of an interesting idea I'm having, right? That if we make it so that we only have six rose quartz coming in from this side, right? It would come in from this side. A full stack of six, right? One will get split off here. We have five left. One gets split off here. Four. One gets split off here. Three. One gets split off here. Two. One gets split off here. One left that goes onto this belt here. I think that should work really well and is kind of cool, all things considered. I, th I think this is well functioning and just kind of elegantly designed all right yeah i think this can work i think this can work and this we could always extend bigger and the pumps could just be coming off the top of it to fill the spouts Ooh, this this looks like it would be a very efficient factory for sure and then all of these can join together in some way and just be put onto um, a bulk blaster to turn them into redstone because that's what happens to the redstone clusters right when they're done 
the redstone clusters cook down into redstone, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's what they do. We are very much needing to create some more brass hands as well. Oh, that's going to need some more brass sheets. Uh, I got 23 left, so... Let's press them and while I get together some of the last pieces for this machine. Why don't we do our Q&A of the day coming in from the Discord, as always. This one from Surreal Design. Asking if I've ever had a grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, that's the most horrible thing I've ever heard of. No, I have not had a grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now, I completely understand that a grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich is, by all means, a fine thing to eat. It's just toast and peanut butter and toast and jelly. Those are normal things. I don't like either of those things, though. I don't like peanut butter and I don't like jelly, so I would never eat that. Um, but I suppose if you've never thought of it, then uh, maybe you have now. So yeah, if you ever want to ask those cursed questions of me or determine what foods I like or dislike, you should really join the Discord. It is an amazing place that was so loud. It was an amazing place to hang out, talk about the channel, and ask questions about creating stuff. Okay, this should be all we need to fill this guy in. We're, of course, going to need to connect all the spouts and all of the uh, mechanical hands together, but we don't even have a cobblestone gen anymore. I wanted to change that up because, you know, people inform me and I'd foolishly forgotten that we need iron. We need an infinite iron generator. So obviously the infinite cobble and gravel we produce over here, we should probably filter in over here. Um, although it looks like you could also, there is like a way to use crushed iron from the uh, crimsite catalysts, but I don't really want to go that route since we'll already be generating a large amount of cobblestone. So we need to have over here is going to be our rose quartz and seed factory. And I was thinking over here, we could have a cobblestone production factory. But before any of that, something that I really want to remember to do is set up just pipes. We don't even have to add a pump onto them, but I just want to make sure to place these down because I know it's something I'll forget. Maybe I'll forget even worse because I don't have a pump set up. And how would I want to power the pump? Uh, probably gearbox here, pump here. Yeah, nice. You know what? I'll be a good engineer. I'll be a good engineer today and I'll actually make the pump because I know I need it. Like so, boom, there we go. Look at all that. So now you and you. What? I just made a bunch of mechanical pumps. Okay, weird that that didn't go where, it... there we go, huh. It's nice that it doesn't really matter the direction you give rotation to the deployer, so that shouldn't be a problem at all, which is great. As far as distributing the cobblestone goes, because that very much is something we should think about, I'm hoping that if I just run shoots along, or distributing the sand, excuse me, if I just run shoots alongside these guys, I'm really hoping that'll mean that we can just have it pass over it, right? Uh, because, you know, as long as we block off the end here, then the cobblestone should just wait on top of these guys, right? And filter in as it goes is my hope, is my big hope. I, I think that's how it can work. I don't know if it will. Uh, unfortunately, we're kind of be doing a trial by fire, but this machine is looking pretty amazing, and I need to get this wall out of here. I'm playing a ton of Baldur's Gate with Audrey, my girlfriend, recently, and we just got past, like, the first big boss, you know, the first big story boss. Oh, what a game. I, I love Baldur's Gate. I'm excited to play Starfield, but man, I the focus is Baldur's Gate. I think even with Starfield on the horizon, but man, is it not a good time for a game of the year, isn't it? What what a fight it will be this year's game of the year, right? Are you are you a Tears of the Kingdom game of the year? Are you a Baldur's Gate game of the year? If you have early access to Starfield, are you a Starfield game of the year? Because like the it, the Great War is about to descend upon the realm of gamers. <laughs> I have to admit, uh, I'm excited for it because I think we're going to see a lot of interesting arguments, but also it's a gamer argument on the internet, so maybe I'm not that excited. I think this suits, right? We could have a fan right here pushing everything up, and this will just be a nice and easy, simple way for us to get the items from down here to all the way up there. And I guess for the time being, I can cap this with a uh, andesite casing. Yeah, not too bad. Although that doesn't look great. Actually. It kind of looks interesting to have it sitting on top of the chutes like that. Makes it look a lot more structural. You know what? I do like that. And then we could even pull this out and bring this guy down. Yeah, it frames it 
a little better, a little better. Not like a perfect framing, but it's interesting. Whoa, hey, what are you doing here? Huh? You got nothing from here but Podzle. Leave this place. Ugh, always wandering traders, always wandering traders. So what I'm setting up here, oh, it's not quite right, is it? Ooh, that's right, ooh. I kinda, I, I was having this idea of like, you know, oh, you split the gravel, but this needs sand, not gravel. Now, I could put crushing wheels right here, but that's a bit of an annoyance. I'd rather it come to this as a sand, so we'll need a little bit of a smarter facility. I could have the six drills embedded in the wall like so, with cobblestone generating right in front of them. And you know what? We should actually have these guys be one off the ground so we can generate over shoots just to be a little bit more, I, I, guess, I suppose, lag friendly or belt friendly about things and then i think all of it should just filter right into a drawer avoiding drawer right here so this thing can just run right this thing can just run forever because right into avoiding drawer is not at all a problem and then maybe instead of splitting the gravel we split the cobblestone because we could have it then come right out of that travel along a belt line here and this should be enough space if I remember correctly, for two crushing wheels, right? That increases the SU cost of this a lot, but I was always intending on using a, uh... No, that, that's also not enough space. And is kind of ugly, to be honest. It's kind of ugly. But one thing we could at least start with is the knowledge that we definitely don't care about cobblestone. It's not cobblestone we need. It's gravel, specifically, right? So we could have a pair of crushing wheels right off the bat here the only problem is backing up this will back up and it won't crush a stack at a time never mind it's a terrible idea there should definitely be a drawer here but perhaps the drawer simply sits on top of the belt come on top of the belt please that's interesting i didn't know it would connect to a block like that if it was encased is it there oh well that's pleasant okay sorry learning new things um that is really cool uh, so this will then output a full stack of items at once directly into a pair of crushing wheels here. Then, when the items come out of this, this is where we can split. Yeah, this is where we can do the split, right? We will have that there. Oh, you know what? Maybe just one more out so we could have it connect directly. That'd be nice. Yeah, one more out, and then we're good. Like that. You, oh my gosh, my inventory. This will continue forward, and then this will continue right to here. Perfect, with a little bit of andesite casing to block it off. We don't want it breaking. And then right as it pivots, we can have, um, excuse me, we can have some crushing wheels like right here, I guess, if we want to have them centered. And then right here could be the output for the clay and flint and stuff and you know what just to be safe we can even put the output underneath the this block here and just ensure that only sand can enter this thing right we might we might as well be uh, prudent about things is there a piece of sand around here that i could pick up not a single not one sand one sand for djojo one sand for jojo sand sand anyone seriously what where's the sand Okay, there's surely sand in a river. Sand, okay, oh my gosh. Thank you. Whoa, quest complete, like, sand, but three times. Okay. Okay, but you only take in sand. And then, uh, we could have a piece of lava here. And then part of our filtering will be here, where you will output everything but sand. And then the gravel that continues here will be all good. I think what we'll do here is instead of splitting... We can uh, round robin it. Yeah, so every stack there, stack there, stack there, stack there. Although I do kind of worry that one pair of crushing wheels won't be fast enough. We will see. If we need more crushing wheels, it's really only a matter of space in SU. I should be okay. Realize I'm getting pretty close to just leveling this hill and expanding the visibility of our factory. I might do that eventually, but for now, I'll just keep carving into it. Um, so this is cobblestone taken care of for the most part. I don't think this should have any issues. 
Uh, as long as the belt's moving fast enough, these drills might need to move a little bit slower. And then, right, voiding drawer here. I think this distribution method should work fine. I, I can't imagine it breaking. And then, of course, if everything backs up, the drawer will just continue to void the cobblestone and we'll have no problem. Now, we just need to collect all of the redstone clusters, which is literally as easy as doing that. It'll bring them all right onto this belt. It'll only be the redstone clusters on these guys because we'll filter these. And I suppose at this point, we would bring them over probably just onto the floor, honestly. Just, like, drop them onto the floor to get smelted into the redstone dust and we would kind of bring the gravel over and the iron over because the last thing we do with the redstone dust is we kind of have to do this weird thing where some of it gets destabilized some of it gets turned into rose quartz some of it goes back into the catalyst which i'm going to be honest I don't know how any redstone from over here is going to end up in the catalyst. Maybe a drawer network, actually. I, I don't know if this is too far away, though. It probably is. For now, I should definitely focus my attention on getting the filter set up. And for that, we need some wool. A lot more wool than we have. Oh, and I don't need my boxes on me. They're just taking up space. Uh, okay. I can place these guys down here since this is my little toolbox working area. Oh, and the rain comes to aid us on our journey. Where is my brass toolbox? There you are. Firstly, chickens, I'm sorry to say, but I do need some more feathers to get around. You guys are making a lot of eggs. I, I keep saying that I'm going to turn this into an automatic farm, but... I don't know, it's a lot easier to just keep them in here and kill them myself with looting. Because yeah, you know what, I can just kill all the chickens. And then use the eggs. Like, look at that, 20... Four. Look at that. I'm like a chicken necromancer. I should elaborate on that sentence because I kind of like, you know, I, I, I feed off of the chickens, right? You know, like they give me power is what I was going for. But I, you know what, chicken necromancer. And then you know what? Are there any regular vanilla vines around here? Well, maybe, it would, do these vines count? Because as long as you can climb them. Yeah, as long as you can climb the vines, they count. I can put these, or these are ivy, okay. I can put this in there, so just in case there's more than 25 chickens in there, they won't even entity cram. Death cannot save the chickens from me. Going on a sheep hunt. Hunting down some sheep. I should have said a warp scroll. That would have been neat. Going to set a warp scroll. And take some gold with me. Because I want some more of the... What are they called? Uh, what are, the, what are the guys called? The little guys. Starbuncles. I want some more Starbuncles. Man, these Starbuncle things are so cute. And they give you little gems and stuff. They're wonderful. Ars Nouveau. What a wonderful mod. I wish we could have gotten into it more in the early game. I, we definitely have the ability to do now. I guess I just don't know how useful it is as a mod outside of the necessary stuff. Because there is some necessary automation that you do with Ars Nouveau. And... Apparently, it is super complicated. Uh, I'm excited to check it out. But yeah, I don't know if it's like useful to get the spell book for travel and stuff. Is it better than the Rending Gale? I, I don't know that much about Ars Nouveau. So you guys let me know if you know about Ars Nouveau, what I should be doing with it. Also, have I explained why we're hunting sheep? Because we just need wool to make filters. It's pretty It's pretty simple. Um, but you know what? Everything's an adventure on the DJOJO channel. Oh, and if you saw the map and were wondering why our home base, our old home base, wasn't on it, it was just that I upgraded to the dev build and Zero's minimap settings are stored differently than the world settings. I just forgot to port them over. This is a bit more turning into a Starbungle hunt than a sheep hunt, but as far as we're going, five Starbungle shards and 31 wool about to be, I guess, 32 to... Oh, a lot more than 32. Nice. Come give me some wool, sheeps. I will turn it into filters. Why why wool for a filter? Oh, wait, you know what? No, I, I completely understand why wool for a filter. You know, the second I said it out loud, it, it clicked in my head. Boo! Boo! I do love messing with creepers. Okay, more than a stack of wool, we are definitely doing good. Man, that is so fast. It freaks me out every time. Whoa, the explosion of chicken sounds. I suppose there's little reason not to just make as many filters as possible. Uh, where did I drop off? I had two filters, and I think, there we go. Oh, I had 36! Okay. So, Denialist Redstone Cluster, we need four more of these? Like so. Perfect, perfect. I can't believe I just spent, like, ten minutes hunting wool for something that we already had. But you know what? It got us enough Starbuncle Shards to make another Starbuncle Wheel. 
So we'll have another factory helper for this place. That'd be awesome. And then, of course, we will need a sand deny list as well. Look at me not forgetting my filters. Uh, I did forget the bucket of lava I wanted to put there, but I suppose that's not the most prudent thing in the world. But I'm pretty sure what we are looking at is everything from the gravel and sand production to the redstone cluster production the actual redstone cooking will be easy yeah i mean we've got like as far as this chapter goes we have everything from here and we've got here ish yeah all it is is figuring out probably the most complicated part as far as spacing goes which is how do we get redstone over there and uh where do we craft the rose quartz I still don't have any idea what we're going to do for that. I just want to use this time to say thank you so much to the members of this channel. They are helping this channel and me become closer and closer to becoming a full-time content creator. So if that's something you'd be interested in, subscribe and become a member.